About 20 or 30 years ago, God was dealing with musicians. <clears throat> we, you know, we had all this new contemporary music, but God was showing clearly, um, you know, it's not a straight transition. It's not a straight transition. Uh, the spirit of the music, the spirit of the musician has to change. Um, many of us, I mean, I was brought up uh, in this spirit. Uh, it was a definite spirit thing of having a complete shut off from all, all of the, and it was a big sacrifice because it was really cool music at that time. Absolutely new revolutionary music, wasn't it? In the 70s, 60s and 70s, whole new style. But um, no, God was saying, uh, teaching us about praise and worship and the entrance into God's place. So that was all going 20 or 30 years ago. So if that's the Johns, right? The Johns, that was their time, that was our time. We're, we're also learning fresh stuff. Um, Matthews, let's address you. Matthews, I think, you know, in the 90s came a softening, a word about servant leadership. Matthews seemed to install themselves and call themselves pastors, but really they're CEOs. And... You know, they're administrative, they find administration easily, easy and, and good ones are quite personable too. And as long as they're good looking, the women like them. Uh, <laughs> I'm very sarcastic about that. <laughs> because, cause, probably because I'm ugly. <laughs> um, excuse the dress, by the way, I'll just come in from doing rough work. Um, but this is what God's saying, saying now... Um, it, it's not it's not a minimal thing here when you you you, you uh, think about it satan controls or tries to control everything so who's he going to use primarily by tricking matthews into thinking that unless they control the universe the whole thing is going to go <laughs> just just collapse you actually hear the elite saying this in, in um, that series, Them, uh, on telly, when they were doing the first Bilderberg thing, uh, exposing on telly. Um, Dennis Healy actually said that. He said, you know, the world just cannot survive without us elite. They are like sheep and we have to guide them and lead them. And that's a lie. Do you know what's going to happen Matthews are going to learn to be spirit administrators. That's what's going to happen. They're going to move out of flesh, going to move out of flesh control. They're going to learn what it is to speak. Speak. I mean, they're already doing that. And entrepreneur, true entrepreneurs and true leaders speak out their goals and those goals happen. But there's a control. They've usurped a position and called themselves pastors. Matthews aren't pastors. Not primarily, they're more apostolic or they're more, um, well, it, they're either administrative or apostolic, but um, they think on a bigger scale. They're not pastors. There is no pastor role or office as it is currently. It doesn't exist in the Bible. Pastors do things. They past. They pasture. Prophets do things, they profit, they prophesy. Actually, they do profit, but they prophesy. Teachers teach, evangelists evangelise. Apostles, apostle. <laughs> no, they found, speak the founding words over geographies to bring forth the kingdom, which is represented in its local expression as church, ecclesia. That's what they do. But they don't control. You control us. You are controllers. You make sure that we, as prophets, come to the front and tell you exactly what God is going to say before you will allow anybody to speak the word of God to what you feel is your congregation. All of that's a lie. You're a jumped up twerp, if you think that. You jumped up to up. Now, in the spirit, 
you are an organiser and you speak for things by faith and you see on a bigger scale, but it doesn't put you in charge. Who told you you were in charge? No one's in charge. Paul wasn't in charge. And he addressed the Corinthians if anybody thought that he was. So I can't address you as mature because some of them are saying they're Peter's of Peter, some of them are saying of Apollos, some of them are saying they're of me. So you're giving your game away. And that's what we have all over the earth at the moment. We're giving the game away as to exactly where Christianity is. It is at most in the young man stage. As a corporate move right across the earth, right at the moment, the most that it is in the charismatic realm, evangelical realm, is circus masters running their circuses, synagogue rabbis. They haven't advanced at all on the new old covenant. What's all this about? Does nobody read Jeremiah 31? Does nobody know what the new covenant is? So yes, it is time to address this in the spirit. And that's what the Lord quickened to me today. I mean, I've been making various addresses on, on the net for a while, but just, you know, I was thought, thought, thought I suppose, in more, smaller terms. But no, God is saying right now, this is the time. This is, this is the time across the earth. This lie that pastors rule churches, that priests rule churches, that vicars rule churches. There is no rule over a church. It's God's church. It's Jesus' bride. You leave off his bride. He has supplied all these gifts and ministries. He's particularly church building ones are founded on apostles, prophets, pastors, teachers, evangelists. If we don't evangelize, there's no church, is there? And then there's, there's all the other building and beautifying ministries of, um, you know, discernment of spirits, deliverance ministries, administratives, cheerful givers. There's the merciful who have a speciality in very, very, very difficult circumstances. These, these, this, is, this is the tremendous kingdom that we're a part of. And you want to wreck it all by controlling it which is the devil is using you in every town, every high street on earth to bind the kingdom and make sure it never comes. No more. The Feast of Tabernacles is here. The roof with the hole in is here. The direct connection with everybody with the head is here. We're not playing, we're not playing children's games anymore. We're going to do what's in the Bible. You can have your imaginary church wherever you want, but no, this is the time when God is bringing the answer to 2,000 years of praying, let your kingdom come on earth as it is even now in heaven. And we're going to learn a completely new way, new way of running things, new way of co-flowing with each other, just like the disciples did going through from house to house in Jerusalem. We have one church over one city, not the monsters that we have now, confusing the hell out of everybody else. No wonder they don't want Jesus. If I be lifted up from the earth, Jesus said, I will draw all men unto me. It's all simple stuff, really. <laughs>